The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo- I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 30, NASDAQ up 21, SP's up 4.5, gold contract down a buck, trading at $14.79 an ounce. We get silver down a penny, $17.06 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. Let's see if that's right. Let me see. I believe this is flat. We had the uh, API numbers come out this morning. Uh, there was plenty of uh, oil out here. Uh, bottom line is though that oil had been up a buck. So let's see. We are, yeah, we are flat. And uh, bottom line, it went to 61.18. And right now you're laying out uh, at 60.94. Yeah. So, so bottom line is that uh, we'll see what that baby can generate up in the 60 marks. There's no doubt. Notes and bonds, bottom line, notes and bonds, you, get, you got them backing down. They're backing down with tremendously lighter volume. We're going into uh, the last Friday, we had come down with 2.4 million contracts inside the 10. You're coming down with a million contracts right now. I expect we're going to get that lower level tested. The 10 year is down nine ticks, 128.05. The 30 year is off 27 at 155.31. And King Dollar, King Dollar is up 170 ticks. Trading at 97.393. King dollar has got back inside its higher range once again. We'll see whether it can hold. Euro is at 111. The yen is at 109 and a half. And the pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. If we go over to the pound first and take a look at it, what you're going to see, this is what's moving the dollar. Uh, before the election, uh, bottom line pound was trading at 131. Goes all the way up to 135. And then when Boris Johnson, uh, bottom line, come out, and said, well, listen, we're still going to fast track this. And next December 31st, we, even if we don't have a deal with the European Union, meaning on trade, we're going to be basically bust out of it. That shouldn't have been a surprise either, because that was in his manifesto when he was going to be prime minister. But bottom line, market wise, it took it uh, south. It took it south from 135 down to 130. And we'll see whether this uh, thus far, you know, we do have a rejection of price at the 130.51. We hit 130. One, we hit 130.60 today, um, and we'll see if uh, bottom line if we can get any more traction uh, on the way up. If we go over to that dollar and we take a look at that dollar, what you're going to see with the dollar right now, we're at one at 97.392, and anything once you get back inside 97.141, that gets you in the higher range again. You know, bottom line, it's going to need a lot more strength than this in order to basically uh, get topside. But guess what? Um, you know, it's inside it right now. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and this is going to be a very low volume market out here today, folks. It looks like holiday trading actually has already started. You have, uh, let's see, so GE's down 12 cents. They're getting hit with the deal about uh, they're going to be losing a lot of cash flow when Boeing basically stops making the 737 for the General Electric as part of making those engines for the 737. You get advanced micro down 35 cents. FedEx is the big one. That's getting smoked. That's down $16 today, 147. They came out with the numbers last night. Bad numbers. And the bad numbers on FedEx were before the fact that they got fired 
by Amazon yesterday. So what you have with FedEx right now, uh, bottom line is that you're down $16.22, $16 18 million shares. You're blowing away the swing point. You're doing it with volume. That sets up uh, a lower leg at 137. Let's just bring this back for a bit. Oh, interesting. Okay, so, yeah, this has been in, in trouble for a long period of time. You go back to last December. Last December, we went from 234 to 150 in a heartbeat. You still, this thing wants to lay out at 119. We're at 147, 119 is gain. And we'll see if we get any volume on the way down there. And if you want to see something that's pretty wild, uh, you go over to UPS, folks. Doesn't look anything like uh, FedEx. Uh, UPS out here is closer to its highs. The United Postal Service, uh, I mean UPS, uh, United Postal Service, that's trading at 118. That's off only $2. You bring this back and take a look at it, and you're going to see this is a high end consolidation. In fact, UPS looks like it's going to test 135. So there evidently is a dramatic difference of what's happening right now inside of Federal Express versus UPS because for years they've traded together. Um, lately, guess what? They haven't traded together. Um, losing uh, the amount of uh, shipping that uh, Amazon does, uh, FedEx, that, that's, that's trouble in paradise. No two ways about that. We, go, we take a look at the gold market, we take a look at the XAU, the HUI inside the gold equities. Uh, bottom line, they both want higher price. We have the uh, XAU up 70 cents right now. This one trading 99.24. This wants to go after 102.29. The gold bugs index, which is the HUI, this is uh, also rejected lower price this morning. This is up a buck 98 trading 223, and that thing wants to go after 237. Franco Nevada, FNV. Now, this one here, this has been flirting with its all-time highs. Right now, we're at 97.14, and that all-time high is laying right at them. In fact, it's been up here for a while. La, two weeks ago, we got up to the uh, 101.20. I think that made a new all-time high. It did. So, this is pretty cool. Now, if you, if you look at this chart, folks, this will give you an idea of price and volume, how it move, moves markets. You have, you, you had a... First, you had a high out here in September, $101.19, 2.8 million. Well, we get into that in November 15th, pushing into it with 3.2. Then we took it out with 3.5. That's a classic how you like to take a, a swing high out is. You're pushing into the swing high, expansion of volume. That's the 3.2 million the week of November 15th. Then you take it out. The week of December 6th with 3.5, and you gave it up on price, I, and that's about as deviant as you get, and I actually love when that happens. Why? Because what I've seen is that, particularly in this one here, you had push with volume, you take it out with volume, price doesn't hold, it's going to go back up and test the 101.20 at least, and let, you know we'll see whether it can blow it away. 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.